so I just got this Slate router which is actually by the GL Actually I have no idea who is this from Just let me check it out Okay, so this is a, a router from the Actually what brand is this? Okay, apparently I have no idea what brand is it But it is the recommended travel router that has been awarded like the best CS for 2019 but since you are in COVID-19 you are not going to travel anywhere but still you need to have good Wi-Fi so actually this is a good Wi-Fi router access point and everything because firstly it's small and secondly it has a lot of technology that is packed inside this so let's just take it out and see what's inside this box So, it's just a black box over here. The box is very hard to open. It's not like those premium Samsung or Apple boxes. And once you open up, you get these two instructions on how to connect and set up the routers. So, I guess it's just connect and plug and play so the powering of this router is actually using a USB type micro USB actually and what you need to do is just connect to the LAN and it's done Let's see open up compartment in fact actually this box is so hard to open right now you can see that actually they don't in much effort in the boxing so what I have here is I don't know why they gave me the US plug this means that I need to have a plug adapter then so that's the power cable one LAN cable one micro USB cable so this is actually the standard USB cable just put it back in since I'm not able to use the US type cable and now they're off the pipe so this is in fact actually the size of a router it's actually a super small router over here um, so this is all the information that is here block out all the QR code and the password for this router so here is exactly what is the input so one WAN input two LAN input one USB and DC micro USB power cable and this is the antenna I'm just gonna take out a card to show you how big this router is actually is let's check it out using a Kopitiam card this is exactly the size of a router so in fact actually this router can do much more than the TP-Link router that is available out there you can do a access point you can you make it as a VPN router as well and you see this two mode on this mode you can set up preference of your own choice you can make it as a VPN you can make it using Tor, you can make it a kill switch for internet, it can be anything. And there's another power button over here. I think that's an SD card input as well if you want to have an expansion to have some storage device if you want to make it into a NAS or something like that. So now I'm gonna boot up and check out how the user interface of this router is. So what I'm going to do now is actually uh, power it up. So I just quickly connect this USB cable to my laptop for a quick power source since I don't need to find a adapter cable for that US plug. And so just plug it in. You see this the power light on. So once this is up actually you can see all the light is on. There's 2G, there's 5G and the power is on. 
so now let's see what's inside the user interface that is available inside here once you log in into the panel it will ask you for your default language so over here this is the main panel you can select the languages that is available so here i'm gonna select um, english so now they will ask for some admin password so we're gonna set it up and then press submit so here i'm actually not connected to any internet at the moment but here you can see there is um, options for you to connect the internet via yeah, existing network either by using an android tethering or uh, as well like a 4g or 3g modem and also if you have any existing wireless network that you have at home already or anywhere you can use this to connect to any existing wi-fi so here let's try and can scan any uh, network if it's just available around here so this can be used if let's say if you're at a hotel room and cable is not accessible or place that has no cable at all so wi-fi can also be used as your network source so over here you can see the wireless settings there is 2g and 5g connectivity available here and there's also the gas network if you see there's a 2g gas network and there's also the 5g gas network so this is to segregate the connection between your home network and the public network that you're going to provide so that's also the clients where you can check out the settings of the clients like the, um, the up speed and the down speed and like the ip address and think the rest of the like upgrade firewall requires internet but i haven't connected to anything yet so there's also this internet kill switch that is at the side at, of the device which is when you press that thing it will just disable it and also there's a vpn policies and tor is also available for this router off the i mean on the box itself you don't need to do anything set up here you can select which country that you want to be your exit node so yeah let us go to see other settings over here that we can check so here there is also like uh, the wirecard server and open vpn server if you are into networking these are good things that we of the box that is available here and also there's this uh plugins availability over here so there's a lot of plugins already installed of the box but let me check if there's any like uh install like pie hole if they can be installed here uh, apparently not because i think i'm not connected to the internet yeah so here is the file sharing if you have an sd card you can share it on the LAN, make it as a nas system or something like that so yeah so there's also dynamic dns if you want to have like all those and this is a captive portal let's say if you're in a hotel so you just need to connect once set it up then the rest of the time that you're connected to this network you don't need to enter the same like the hotel password anymore so this is one good thing if you are on the go all the time so yeah i think mostly that's about it uh yeah so there is also this button settings that you can set at the right side of your device where you can set it a uh, Tor toggle open vpn to be uh, activated or any wire card to be active so this is actually like a quick way to just on and off those things so this is a very small router i'm providing 5g and 2g right now i think this is blinking because it's actually absorbing the 5g the signal around this area to send through the cable which is connected to my laptop so if you're a person who likes to experiment with vpn and stuff like that this is a good one to have a mini router and the temperature don't forget the temperature actually i'm feeling here this is actually quite Heat like a uh, like a personal ham warmer if you know if you go to japan if it's if you cold you can carry this around it, it feels warm it doesn't feel so hot but it's still warm it's still warm 
so you might put at some place that is well ventilated to avoid for it uh, overheating so yeah so do I put it near a fan? somewhere near ventilation that is happening and also you can't you can't turn this the other way around it's only one way up maximum over here so like that 